women's basketball with head coach Jody Kest. In this edition, we look back at recent victories, talk with senior class ward nominee Rachel Tecca, and preview upcoming games. All this and more coming up. Welcome Zip fans, I'm your host Chrissy Perbonic. Coach, two big games this past weekend, big victory first off over Florida Atlantic. What are your thoughts coming off that game? Well, number one, we won the game, we were healthy after the game, and uh, had opportunity to showcase a lot of players, uh, give them some reps, and uh, you know, just we just played a, we played a very solid game, just really happy with the whole team effort. Five of your players were in double digits for points, and then three of which were double doubles. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I expected Hannah and Rachel to play well in the double-double. Uh, I expected that from seniors. But Carly Young was the third one and really happy for her. That was her first double-double. And for us to be successful this year with Cinna being injured, we really need her to step up. And that was a great start for her. Then we move on to Tuesday where you guys hosted Tennessee Tech. It was a tremendous victory, 118 points. How, how does that make you feel as a head coach? Well, I mean, we won the game number one, and if you would have told me the night before that we would ha have had a 50-point lead, uh, I would never have believed that. I have a lot of respect for Coach Davis at Tennessee Tech, and, you know, they were picked first on their side to, to win their conference, um, and they were a very athletic team, so I, I would have never thought that we would be up by that much. But we played extremely well. We played great defense. We shot mm -hmm. the ball extremely well. Again, a lot of players had an opportunity to play. I thought Anita Brown did a great job, gave us a, her first double-double, and just got great support from the bench and, and had an opportunity to rest some of our kids. After two games, what are some of the things that you're seeing from your team that you may not have expected? Well, you know, the chemistry thing, that's always you know, is, is the most important thing, and, and having a lot of kids back and then a lot of new players, you're not really for sure how that's going to uh, happen. And, and I was just really pleased with our team chemistry, and the kids get along extremely well, yeah. and um, they're very supportive of each other. and. Um, you know, offensively, they're, they're, they're starting to learn what the responsibilities are in our offense. They're starting to learn about what our defensive schemes are all about. And, uh, you know, I think we're, we're not anywhere near perfect by any means. We, make, we made a lot of mistakes in both those games, but luckily we won the game and we can correct them hopefully before we play a really good dating team. And Tennessee Tech game was Education Day for you. What are your thoughts coming off of that and how it turned well, out? Well, for the first time of having it, I thought it was, we did a great job. Over yeah. 500, almost close to 500 people. I thought everybody in marketing did an outstanding job. And, you know, Candace Smith, my director of basketball ops, she's been doing that work since last summer, over a year. And, you know, without all her dedication and hard work, we would have never, you know, had such a great turnout. The kids looked like they really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we were so focused on the game, I, I didn't really pay too much attention, but everybody afterwards said how organized it was and how enthusiastic they were. And, you know, a great opportunity for those 500 kids. Probably, maybe, if we're lucky, one or two come here to play basketball, but hopefully a few more will come here to, to, to go to school at the University of Akron because it's a great institution. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank when you. we come back, we'll talk to senior Rachel Tucka. Zips fans, register today for the new and improved Rewards program. Earn points and prizes for interacting with the Zips on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and more. Registration is free and easy, and you could win tons of great prizes. Visit ZipsRewards.com today to begin collecting points. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Zips Women's Basketball with head coach Jody Kest. I'm your host, Chrissy Perbonic. I'm with senior Rachel Tecca. Rachel, you've got two games under your belt so far. How are you feeling? Uh, pretty great. We've been scoring a lot, pretty much over 100, <laughs> averaging 108, I think. So uh, it's great. Everybody's contributing, and it's a lot of fun out there to play. So, Rachel, you were nominated for the Senior Class Award, which is a nationally recognized award. What does that mean to you? Um, it's definitely a really cool award because it, um, not only recognizes your athletic achievements, but also your school and um, volunteering achievements as well. And I've really worked hard in the classroom. I'm getting my MBA now, so that's something uh, that I really take pride in, uh, getting good grades. So I think it's really cool that finally um, my, not only my athletic achievements are being validated, but my academic as well. Rachel, you're a fifth year senior here at Akron. What's your leadership philosophy for this team? Um, well, being here five years, I definitely have a lot of experience on and off the court. Um, I know what Coach Kess expects, so I try to translate that to the younger players and help them out any way I can. And I also try to lead by example on the court with my uh, style of play. Rachel, now that you're fully recovered from your injury, what are your expectations for yourself the rest of the season? Well, yeah, I'm feeling healthier than ever. I worked extremely hard all summer um, doing physical therapy with Akron Children's and just in the past two games, I felt great. I feel like I can play more minutes now than I have ever been able to in the past. So I'm just really excited to contribute even more to the team than I um, have in past games. So. 
Wonderful. Good luck, Rachel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Coach Rachel was just named Mackey's Player of the Week for the seventh time in her career. What are your thoughts on her? Well, she's been playing great. She's yeah. in the best shape of her life, physically mm -hmm. as well as mentally. She has a lot of confidence right now. And just very pleased with her, with all the work that she's done over the last couple of years to get herself back in the best shape of her life, uh, to show you what a, what a great kid she is and what a great leader she's been for us. Um, I'm just going to enjoy you know, every game, every minute with her, because Rachel Tecos don't come around too often. Over her past five years with Akron, what's been some of her main, your main focuses for her development? Well, she's a hard worker, so I mean, whatever you ask her to do, she does. Mm -hmm. um, she got herself much stronger in the four years that she's been here, physically as well as mentally. Um, she now has developed a three-point shot. Uh, she's money from 15 feet. She's always had a great left hand, great right hand. Uh, but probably her shot, you know, I mean, she worked really hard this summer to develop that three-point shot. I think she's two for two right now, and that will open up the door for other people as well as for her to drive to the basket. She's been nominated for the National Award, a Senior Class Award. As her head coach, how do you feel about that? How's that well, make you feel? that's just a prestigious award because oh, yeah. it, it, it's not just about her basketball and it's just not about her academics. It's about the character. That, the, the character. It's about... Uh, her community work. It's about her education, how, how well she's done in the classroom, uh, as well as how well she's done on the basketball court. So for her to be nominated as one of the top 30 seniors in the country says a lot about her, and I'm just really happy for her and her family. She's been a true representation of what Akron basketball is. She has. <laughs> Anytime we do any community service and we have to have uh, players volunteer, she's always, you know, she's always first in line, and that just shows you what a great leader she is. Makes me feel good because she's a Hoban grad just like I am. <laughs> Rachel has scored her career-high 36 points against Florida Atlantic last Friday night. When we come back, Coach and I will preview the upcoming games. Even the smallest Zip can be a part of the team by joining Zippy's Kids Club. It's the coolest club around for kids 12 and under. Zippy's Kids Club is presented by North Akron Savings Bank. For more information, visit gozips.com slash Zippy's Kids Club. Welcome back to Zips Women's Basketball with head coach Jody Kest. I'm your host, Chrissy Perbonic. Coach, you started off two games at home. Now you hit the road to Dayton and Wright State. What are your expectations for the Dayton game? Well, Dayton is, is one of the better teams we'll play all year. Mm -hmm. uh, ranked number 21 in the country. Jim Jaber does a phenomenal job with his kids. He's got a young team, but a lot of experience. He only has one senior. Uh, they like to do a lot of the things that we do, a lot of transition points. They try to get the ball up the court, try to score within six seconds, kind of like we do. So it should be really exciting for us. And then Sunday we play at Wright State. And a nice opportunity for Casey to go, to go home in front of her family and yeah. friends. She's only about 15, 20 minutes from there. And it, you know, as everyone knows, I mean, you know, Casey is the one that you know, gets us going and led the country last year and assist. And so for us to have an opportunity to, to bring her home, I think it's special. Now, we know we can't share all your secrets, <laughs> but can you give us some of the advantages that you might see that your team has over these two? Advantages? I, you know, I don't know if we have any advantages over anybody. We're just going to go out and do what we do best, and we're going to play hard. We're going to push tempo um, and just do what we do best. And, uh, you know, it, it's exciting for us because we have so much respect for Dayton and Jim Jaber, and we're going to really find out you know, what kind of team we, we are in these next two games. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks so much, Coach. The Zips hit the road Friday, November 15th as they travel down to Dayton, game time 7 p.m. They'll continue play Sunday, November 17th as they head to Wright State, tip off at 2 p.m. Akron will return home Saturday, December 7th as they play host to George Mason here at James A. Rhodes Arena, game time set for 2 p.m. For ticket information, call 1-888-99-ACRON or visit zipstickets.com. For head coach Jody Kest, I'm your host, Chrissy Perbonic. We'll see you guys next time.